so sorry the uh the lighting in here is not great this is i'm actually in our screening room at the studio and i think they just have it kind of dark so that you know you can watch you know we shoot scenes in the woods at night with zombies so it's like they need it as dark as possible they just turn off the lights and don't have to worry about it but it's like doing a zoom uh thing is not good i mean eleanor is lit so perfectly and so are you steve for that matter josh thank you you. huh you look better than usual don't worry about it i showered three days ago that's why i'm kidding showered three days ago you look amazing (laughs) You look great, Josh. Everyone, I am joined by Josh McDermott, a.k.a. Eugene, and Eleanor Matt Sura, a.k.a. Yumiko. I am so excited to be with the two of you together. Uh, and The Walking Dead final season is premiering this Sunday, and it's already out on AMC+. Plus. So how are you guys doing today? I mean, you're both in totally different environments, but you both seem like you're doing great. Yeah. I'm doing awesome. And you just said it's it's premiering this Sunday, and I can't believe that. I mean, it's like, it's always been this date off into the future. I mean, when did we start shooting? Like in January, Eleanor? It was uh, just like... Yeah, and well, February, February. Yeah, it was so far off into the future. And all of a sudden, you're saying it's airing this Sunday, and I'm like, what the crap? Yeah, it's, it's, it's here, and it's, it's crazy, and there's already so much buzz around it. And speaking of that buzz, Eleanor, you had shared on your Instagram, a picture of this billboard with you right in the center of it, which is amazing. And they put Josh right in the right corner. How did that make you feel? Well, I, I actually asked them to do that because if anybody knows us who works on the show, like obviously Josh and I are friends on the show, but I actually asked for him to be not next to me because I just find it distracting. I, I always try and have at least one person's distance. That includes um, poster, press, ad, like yeah. everything. That's why we could have been together in the same room right now, but that's why I made him go to the studio because I don't yeah. want him in the house. Just- that's how we do it. Yeah, and, and I actually haven't seen that yet, and it's because I said, look, if I'm not in the middle or standing next to Eleanor, then I don't even want to see it. Yeah. So that's why I haven't even, <laughs> haven't even seen it yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what, Josh? You make up for it because you are just incredible in these first two episodes of the new season. With no spoilers, you have an incredibly – emotional monologue that we're going to see it's probably my favorite scene of eugene yet if you told josh who was doing last comic standing in the past that you were going to be capable of doing a scene like this would you have believed him? Um, i would have i would have believed it because i always knew that i could do uh drama but i just didn't i didn't think that i ever would if that makes sense you know the, the capability i felt like was there and so um, you know, I just love how Eugene's changed so much. And, you know, thank you for saying that you feel like that's your favorite Eugene scene. I mean, that's, uh, it, it's definitely up there with, with one of my favorites as well. It's, it, it's an interesting uh, first couple of episodes, you know, it's, it's, you know, we're meeting the, the, the first, the outer bands of the Commonwealth. And um, it's, it's exciting to see everybody's reaction to that. Um, you know, everybody's on this journey together, but they're all doing it for their own individual reasons. They're all looking for something and hoping they find it at the Commonwealth. And so it's fun to see the other characters, you know, really, um, you know, see how that's messed with, with them, right? To see if it's like, if they're going to achieve their goal and and their wants and desires. And um, yeah, that's, that's really kind of what we start to unpack in those first couple of episodes. Yeah, totally. And it it really takes you and Eleanor's character and like puts them in these big scenes and big moments because you guys are this group you're in now and your characters have so much screen time together, but you have these moments of emotional heavy lifting. And Eleanor, I was going to say is that that comes with you too. I was really my favorite scenes of Eleanor. And there's just these great monologues you do. We see her lawyer side start to come out. Did you feel a different type of nerves on set for this season doing that much heavy lifting or do you kind of embrace that challenge? Oh yeah, a, a bit of both actually. It's a really good question. I mean, I, I really feel like similar to Josh, it's sort of, I know that I can do that and I really come from a theater background and so like I'm kind of used to like long Shakespearean speeches, you know, that's sort of what I do, but I've never done that on the show. We've, there's never been a need or a cause to do that in, in, in Yumiko's story in the show. So even though I've always had that kind of in my wheelhouse, it's so awesome to have an opportunity to actually do it. And it's make 
perfect sense um, because we learn that Yumiko has this completely different, like strong set of skills that she's never had to use before because you know she's just been surviving literally like with you know hands out in the woods looking for food. Now we're talking about the strength of her intellect and her brain and her her wit and like that's like she hasn't had to to use that in that way before. But was I nervous? Yeah. Like that was a big speech and I remember thinking don't it up because it's this is an, an opportunity for, for the beginning of Yumiko's story so it's an important step. And I was yeah. also yeah. real quick Steve I sure, sure, sure. Uh, I think we shot our, our each of our scenes on back to back days and I was checking in with Eleanor she shot hers first and I was like cuz we look we hadn't been working on this show for you know 18 months or what have you and so this was like one of the first things we did when we got back to work and it was you know we're both trying to have to blow the rust off a little bit and just like kind of you know not we're not fully stretched yet and i remember checking in being like hey how, how was it is it she's like oh we're gonna be fine it's gonna be great <laughs> you know she had just finished it she's like we're good it's gonna be great no, that that's amazing. And it, it's so funny, too, because Josh, your character of Eugene, like we always know, he has some moments where he's so incredibly anxious and he's high strung and you, you kill it in all these moments and you have this range as an actor that just blows me away. But when I'm talking to you now, you're, that just shows you the skill is that like you're this just chill dude that I can... I, I, don't, I can't even believe you're Eugene is what I'm saying. That's a compliment. So is it easy, though, for you to snap out of that? Do you feel like some of Eugene is seeping into Josh in real life, like being high strung and stuff? Um, well, that's an interesting question. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm, uh, you, you say I'm a just chill guy. I don't feel it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I mean, it's, I may be kind of stoic at times, but like inside, I'm just a hurricane. Um, yeah, no, I, there's definitely some bleed over with Eugene and, and, and vice versa. You know, I think, um, I think every actor experiences that where, where, when you've played a character for so long, but, you know, yeah, for sure, like Eugene has definitely had these moments where he's had to, he's had to be, he's been stretched emotionally and um, anxiety is, is a big part of his life at this point. And I, I just think that, you know, as we start to see him enter into the Commonwealth now, uh, we're going to see more and more of that. I don't necessarily think it's something that goes away, especially this far into the apocalypse. For sure. Yeah. And Speaking of that, too, with something that doesn't go away and how long we've known Eugene as a character, Josh, is this super emotional for you, being that you've been on the show for so long? Like, something you, a lot of people don't get to experience is being on set during a final season and being on a show that long. What was that kind of feeling for you? Yeah, I mean, it's, really, it's bittersweet. I mean, we've, we've been at it for a long time. Um, and even today, as I was driving into the studio, I, you know, uh, I, it's not lost on me that, you know, the days are numbered. Uh, the, the amount of times I'm going to be driving in and even sitting in like this, this is a wall of death right here. We have it here and Eleanor knows this, but we got it here. We have, these are oh all the God. people that have died on our show. And so Jesus. we're constantly reminded of the legacy here. And so it's uh, it, it is emotional coming in and, and just seeing that, you know, yeah, this is, we're very lucky and fortunate to number one, make it to season 11 on any television show when so many shows get canceled after the first or second seasons. But also the fact that, you know, so many people have come and gone before us and we're still standing and that's, um, you know, that's not lost on us. And so it's, it's, it's certainly, uh, it's emotional. It's bittersweet. You know, I think it's time, uh, to, f for the show to, to, to branch out and to do other things and to move on, I guess. Um, but also I don't want to let go of it yet. Sure. No. And it's, I feel like I'm getting like these different vibes because you're in the room with the wall of death there. I hope it's not foreshadowing anything for Eugene. And then you got Eleanor in this bright room and Eleanor, you had mentioned it's like the start of Yumiko's Umika, character. So it's like, I'm wondering, is there a chance for a spinoff for her? Would you be open opportunity to be jumping even on another Walking Dead show? Oh gosh. I, I don't know. I mean, like, it's kind of weird to think about, you know what's funny, this, the time for this, the time is already going so fast, as Josh said, like, I can't believe we're premiering the first episode, like, this weekend, it, it's, it's totally mad. At the same time, we're sort of at the halfway point, so the end for me is still a long way to go. I can't believe what you see in the trailer, 
is only a third of what we've done. There is so much that's going to happen in this season. It's an extended season. It's just like you won't believe the amount of stories, the, like new stories that we're still managing to cram in, let alone tying up old ends. So to talk about like spin-offs and like things in the future seems so abstract to me. And it's not me trying to avoid the question. It's just I can't. Kind of, I just I just can't like I can't put my head there right yet. I'm just like. I, I mean, sure, yeah, cool. I'd love to see Yumiko go on and have all these different lives. Of course I would. But but the reality of what that really looks like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so I'm still in this world so much right now. It feels too weird. I would love to see a spin-off with you, Eleanor. Just Yumiko is, it's like Law and Order zombie. <laughs> and she's, she's just some zombie on the stand, and she's like, did you or did you not eat his guts? And he's like, Argh. And you're like, <laughs> I love it. That's that's just a great idea right there. Um, I'm so excited for people to see you guys together in this new final season. I'm honored to be joining you. I feel like I'm part of the crew right now at the Commonwealth. So this is really a dream for me. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Everybody watch The Walking Dead. Season 11 final season premieres this Sunday. It's already out the premiere on AMC Plus. And I hope to talk to you guys again in the future one day. Thank Thanks, you Steve. so much.